Now let's talk about OpenAI. We haven't heard the end of it yet. Yes, Sam Altman is back as the undisputed leader. His detractors on the board have been removed, but the drama is not quite over. The story has shifted to something called QAR. It's a project that OpenAI was working on. Some latest reports have hinted at this. They speak about a leap of breakthrough of sorts, but this breakthrough was said to be alarming and concerns were raised internally. Some people working on QAR reached out to the company's board. They spoke about the dangers of artificial intelligence and what they were making. They thought it was dangerous, and soon after that, Sam Altman was fired. So, was this a coincidence or the final straw? And what really is this QAR project? Is it dangerous? Is it something that the world should know about? Here's what we've been able to gather. Reports say QAR could be a breakthrough. It may lead to the development of Artificial General Intelligence, AGI. So, how is AGI different from AI? It's about what these models can do. Let's first look at normal AI. AI chatbots like ChatGPT work on language. They'll type something out for you, they'll translate a text, and they do this by using statistical predictions. In simpler terms, these are educated guesses. AI chatbots make these guesses after going through billions of pieces of text. They generate what they think is the right answer. But because they're constantly getting trained, that answer can also change, which is why these chatbots can give different responses to the same prompt. You must have seen this. It's all basically very good guesswork, and that's AI for you. Artificial intelligence. But that won't be the case with AGI Artificial General Intelligence because AGI focuses on facts and not guesswork. Even initial AGI projects like QAR, they work on mathematical problems, things that can have only one answer. Now, AGI is still a work in progress. If and when it is perfected, we may have something close to real intelligence. Reports say this is already happening. The QAR project is allegedly solving basic math problems, junior school level sums, and that's just the first step. These programs will only become smarter with time, and if unchecked, more dangerous with time. Apparently Sam Altman was pushing this project. It may have something to do with his ouster. Reports say it was adding to existing grievances, but we cannot confirm any of this right now. These are just whispers from unnamed sources. What we know for sure is this. The OpenAI board thought that Sam Altman was not always honest. When they sacked him, they released a statement. We told you about it when he was sacked, and this is what the statement said. Let me read it out for you. Mr. Altman's departure follows a deliberative review process by the board, which concluded that he was not consistently candid in his communications with the board, hindering its ability to exercise its responsibilities. This is what the board stated. It's a vague justification, no specifics. The board said he was not consistently candid in his communications, meaning he may have been hiding things. Were they talking about the dangers of QAR? We don't know. The board also said that Sam Altman was hindering their work. But what exactly are the responsibilities of this board? Here's what the company says the goal is, and I'm quoting, building safe and beneficial artificial general intelligence for the benefit of humanity, not profits, not innovation, safety, and benefiting humanity. OpenAI claims to be a different type of company, which is why the board had someone like Helen Toner as a member. She became the arch nemesis of Sam Altman. She's now being removed as he returns. Tona is the Director of Strategy at Georgetown Center for Security and Emerging Technology. This is an institute that analyzes the security implications of emerging technologies. Their Director of Strategy was on the OpenAI board, and she was reportedly a thorn in Sam Altman's side. She was among the members who wanted him gone, but as things stand, she's the one who's out. The entire saga seems murky. Hopefully, we'll get some clarification soon.